Hello folks, this is Audio Tron 1003 and uh, this is the last bollard video I'll be making in the series. This is one of my early ones. This is the Pierce Gauchel K30 uh, Opal variety with a 610L aspect. So this is a front view. It's a very light bollard because it's made of fiberglass and it was made by Transglass Products for Pierce Gauchel. And as I understand, uh, the bollard started life um, as a flat sheet uh, printed with the uh, designs on it, the graphics, etc. And then was uh, encapsulated in uh, glass reinforced plastic and, uh, and then sort of uh, molded and then fitted to the, uh, the collar at the bottom and then the fiberglass cap at the top. So this is the view. Uh, I know it's a funny angle, but if I film it properly, um, it's hard for me to get the whole thing in. But that's what it looks like. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll uh, show you what's inside and uh, explain a few things. Because this is a very special bollard because it was signed by the uh, designer when he came to deliver it to my uh, workplace. So. Uh, so this is the front, um, typically Pierce Gauchel, it's got uh, that sort of loaf of bread kind of top to it, just like uh, uh, the K, the K101 for example, and just for comparison, this is the same bollard, it's just a, an amber variety and the same cap, so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone, so anyway. This particular variety has one complete panel going all the way down the side, but I have seen some where they've had split panels where they come up to about there, and then there's a gap of white, and then there's a square one uh, for the top, which is reminiscent of the old metal bollards. So this is uh, the front of it. So what I'll do is, I'll put the uh, I'll pause the video, turn it round, and show you the back and the base. So uh, this is the back, and there's the access door. Now, unlike the um, the earlier example where I spoke about the TG30, which uh, is this one here, um, it's uh, it's got my um, damp trap um, thing stored in there. This particular door looks like a picture frame, like so. But with this one, whoever designed it or, or created this, they just left it as strips like so. So it doesn't quite have the same aesthetic appeal. And to get into the back, you have a, a special key. Uh, sorry, not yet. Yeah, there's a special kind of Allen key with a, uh, a kind of a bolt that goes in there to lock this in place. But uh, me being me, um, I removed them all some years ago so that I could access the, um, uh, access the uh, lamps, etc. What I'm trying to do is uh, lift the top, lift it up from the top, I should say, and you can see a signature in reverse. So if I turn this round, I'll explain what this signature is. I think that looks like M. Barnes. And as the story goes, he uh, he worked for Transglass Products and he designed or helped design this particular bollard. But I was um, ordering a different bollard, which would have been the uh, Met Traffic. You can just see it uh, just there. The Met Traffic Flexible. And when I found out that he was a semi-retired man and he was acting as a delivery driver for uh, that company, I, um, I took this panel off this bollard and asked him to sign it. So this is an actual signed bollard by the designer. So that's what that's all about. So now that I've taken that off, I can... Uh, move this forward a little and lean it back if I can. It's certainly a lot easier to deal with than my 
Triplex AG65 because I can deal with this mostly with one hand. So, uh, so this is inside. It's a uh, vertical spine, and I'll take this out later. And, um, and just like all the others of today, the um, they were connected at the bottom, and there's a kind of a strip of fiberglass at the back here, and the thing just hops in place. The difference between this one and my uh, TG30 is that this one doesn't have any bolts down there to connect it. It simply slips in, and it'll become more apparent when I take this out. So, if I can do this, I'll try to slip my tablet in, and there's an internal view of, uh, of the barn. Uh, as best I can so it's a it's a sheet of continuous fiberglass and um, and it wraps all the way around a mold and this is the uh, the seam here and I imagine they probably would have cut uh, a section out on both ends to make this access panel and then you've got your uh, um, slots for the for the door to slide in so what I'll do now is I shall turn this thing upside down so you can look at the base. Okay, so uh, this is the underside. If I pull out a bit, I've got it connected with four of these nylon bolts, these shearing bolts. Inside, you've got uh, nuts. There's one there, one down there, same on the other side. And... Um, what this is here is just a piece of wood where I imagine they connect stuff to and um, we have other bits and bobs for uh, for whatever. Um, I never really got to the bottom of it because at the time I was only interested in, in the actual uh, bollard itself. And normally this, this cable here, that's just a domestic 240 uh, 3 amp cable connected to a plug but normally that would be connected to the uh, street mains and then on the other side um, if I can go this way it's a little bit difficult but I'll try my best you might be able to see if I can do this right um, I've never really tried to do this before so if it doesn't work I'm going to have to do it a different way, but I'm not sure what you can see, but I'm hoping that you can see uh, the inside. And there should be a chain with a blue plug, and uh, that's connected to a uh, kind of a trap door. So if this thing was to be disconnected through some kind of impact, that would snap shut and seal off the electrical supply. So, uh, excuse me while I try and do this so so anyway sorry about that um, so basically uh, this spine is a little bit different to the the other one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spines out of this one and the other bollard and show you the subtle differences um, so for the time being I shall uh, I can do this <coughs> lift this with one hand turn it round and uh, there we go so that's it lit up so if I switch off the lighting in this room uh, you should get an idea of how bright it is so if I okay so that's it in complete darkness uh, so if I just go around the room it doesn't really cast much light. It's not as powerful as uh, as some of the base lit bollards, but that's that's what it looks like with all its graphics. Because the uh, cap is virtually solid, um, opaque fiberglass, you don't really see it. So uh, so all you see at night is this. So what I'm going to do is, to save camera shake again, I shall pause the video and switch the lights back on.